Welcome back to Libra Light. We're going to begin shuffling. We're going to get started for the singles. You have a few flippers here. Good morning. It's just a little meetup this first time around. This first round, we might have a total of three videos today because I'm making up for yesterday. We're just getting the shuffle in. Good morning. The top's kind of going down. <laughs> Doing a little grocery shopping on a Saturday. And we also have this beautiful Kyle Gray deck that we're going to start. We're going to draw 11 cards as pertinent Libra messages. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're also going to have a full moon reading in a couple days as we head to April 5, which will be the full moon in Libra, our sign. I hope you're excited for that. Uh, you could already be feeling emotions towards that. Okay, so let's go with your flippers first. Let's see what you have here on the table. Night, you have night. So right away, I thought of Knight of Swords because he's holding one. He's looking very peaceful. He's very bound to uh, prayer almost too. It says, be brave and honest. You might feel right now you are slicing through life with a conviction of plenty of honesty. You could be clear and concise with those around you, okay? Transparency comes to mind. Also, as we have the knight here, we have the lady card number two. Lady is very earthly, reminds me of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We got to get the nails done today. <laughs> when, you, when you do visual things, you got to get your nails done. It says, enjoy growth and reap your rewards. So I immediately get harvest time, okay, is about to come for the Libra. A couple of our videos pick this up this during this week with a lot of leaves um, fruits were in some of our cards. So yeah, you have the lady card here with confirmation that there's a harvest or maybe you've been waiting for something to come in. Okay. It could be ships that you've been placing out there in the past. Could be a certain type of income uh, that you invested in. It's something very technical here, Libra, or you could be waiting for a person to return. So let's see what other messages. Top of the deck, we're going to draw 11. So that was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And bottom of the deck, Sun Ancestor. I, uh, the other day, my nephew saw this card. He pulled it out of this stack because it's very friendly. He said, what the heck is the Star Ancestor? And I said, there must be an Aquarius around us. It reminds me of the Star card. There's lots of interdimensional uh, feelings here. Uh, there's so much going on around the guy. There's constellations. He's dreaming by Le Pyramids. So we have the pyramids below, imagination, creation. It also says, follow the voice of your soul. So right now you could be in your star energy, star card with star ancestor. There could be somebody guiding you here too because ancestor is attached to this card. So someone could be guiding you to your north node dreams. You could feel like you're more imbalanced Libra as of late. I also get that too. So you could feel more imbalanced, more in tow. We also have Stargazer, second star card, okay? I'm gonna have you look at this a little bit. It's the first time I've ever seen it. And it says, set your sights higher, okay? So let's take this in love. If you had a past relationship here and somebody wasn't so kind to you, mistreated you, maybe even your trust, uh, didn't abide by your standards, your standards went up higher very recently, okay? The bar has risen um for what you want and i think too you can spot it from a mile away when it comes towards you you're like you know I i'm okay i'm okay on that um i'll see you next time <laughs> so we have the great teacher card this is coming out again for you out of the 11 that you just got very cool oracle and that all that saying is learn from spiritual experiences so everything you clump yourself um if you watch channeled messages if you watch divine feminine or divine masculine readings take all those messages. What I used to do, and I should probably go back to all my beautiful Libras here, I used to write it down in a notebook. Like if a reader was connecting with the same thing another one was, I would write it and almost journal about how it affected my own personal life. So just a little idea. We have Seer again for you. Many times this was shuffled. So you have the fortune telling card. It says, see beyond the current situation. I feel like this involves a person that you're dealing with. Or persons maybe you deal with a lot of people at work Libra that try to undermine your skill uh, maybe they devalue you you've sensed it so the fact that you've sensed it 
Um, I do see here that you see beyond all situations now. It's very clear like your first card stated. So there's a connect to that first one that shot out here. We also have warrior repeating. Some of your cards are really repeating themselves from the other day's reading. Animal guardian for today, Saturday. Very, uh, it's very open. She's holding a small little dough in her hand. It says, trust your instincts. I would add intuition as well with people. Also, for some of you, this is like a family card. If someone's trying to pull something over your head to, I think, spirituality, the deeper that you get into it, you get more voiced in it. Um, the signals come out clearer to you. Maybe someone's behavioral traits, if there's uh, a selfish thing that someone is trying to put onto you. I think that you see it a little bit, bit clearer, excuse me. Um, and she's holding something innocent there, the doe. So those are little signs for me, like when I see small animals or um, when something is being cradled in that way for protection. That could also be you, the small doe in the photo. Direction guardian, direction guardian with red wings, powerful animals. We see here a lion, some type of boar, yeah. And then we have a white eagle in the midst of it. Lots of strong animals. I, I don't know if some of these are going extinct too. So there's something that I kind of caught on to the photo. I don't know how far level in extinction, or maybe there's not many of these animals left, especially with that white hawk or white eagle. It says, direction guardian, choose the path. So it's giving me like two of swords, a little bit of two of swords energy. We're at a crossroads. We can feel it mentally. We can feel it physically. Um, and you can feel a little bit tired too at times with this pathway in life, trying to find direction. So take all your cues here. You have a lot of strong animals. Again, that doe, you could be protecting um, maybe you and your small child from a certain situation. Also, it says, trust your instincts. So we all have that from birth. It's our birthright to follow our intuition and our instinct. Let's keep going because you have a couple new cards left over. You have trader exchange energy to create your abundance exchange energy this tells me like put yourself in a different spot change perspectives change the angle of which you stand in or if you have to go into someone else's shoes and view how they feel have empathy towards someone's situation maybe it's not as easy for them i i kind of get that like trade spaces trade your line of view um and he's holding his kind of he's holding his chest in a way where he's humbled um and he's here to serve so maybe you do need to trade spots with somebody else and see how they feel these are all just general messages for you guys this morning exchange energy to create your abundance or maybe you need to switch over to something brand new you know change the pace uh be in control of that too libra anything new that pops out to you try it uh, there's no denial here of what you can and can't do. And once that guard is taken down, you find that you do even more things. That's what I find um, in my personal journey. So Earth Guardian, last card, it's all green. It reminds me of the heart chakra right away. So he's holding a staff there. Of course, angelic wings. I'm going to read it to you. It says stay rooted and grounded. I felt it before I turned on the, the camera today. Before I press record, there was something saying, tell them to go ground, tell them to be in nature. Um, it might activate something too with the combination of music. So putting maybe your AirPods in and just zoning out or your Samsung blasters and um, just really get in the zone. I feel like some of you just need to be out at the park today, uh, sit on a blankie and have books and maybe a couple snacks. Maybe you need to ground to connect, to connect in nature. Also, your ancestors tend to talk to you when things are very silent as well. So those are your little esoteric messages for the morning. Let's see what else you have here on the table. I drew this probably five in the morning. You have another wing here. And I love this for all of you, singles, couples, every Libra that comes on the channel. It says divine nudges at the very bottom, divine nudges. So I had a divine nudge this morning to do a reading for you guys. Um, sometimes it'll, it'll be very particular, like I'll get today is just for the singles or today is going to be romance and just use tarot. It'll be very specific. Um, and I notice when I follow that and I don't veer off and do anything else creative, it works. I mean, it's very healing. It provides safety for viewers. 
Um, and I just tend to go with what, what comes to me. So those divine nudges, I'm going to read a little bit of the card for you. The more you begin to notice these meaningful divine nudges, the easier it is for them to multiply and give you spiritual guidance. Be open to symbolic signs, synchronistic signs, welcome them and act on them accordingly. They multiply over time. For these are the signs that spirit is using in your recent story to guide and help you. Amazing. So I'm going to tell you guys of a divine nudge that I had on Friday after I completed your guys' live, which was for, uh, I believe it was whatever comes out. I kept hearing rest, like rest. Uh, don't do a video kind of tomorrow type of thing. Take care of yourself. Uh, I never got a nudge like that to just rest. It's usually a reading for someone or it'll be personals um, or it'll be to go tend to my nephews, right? Or work on my car. And um, that's the first time I ever got rest very powerful. So today when I went to go film your video in the morning, um, I felt an energetic difference. I was so tired when I did that whatever comes out video um, to today. So maybe you just need a little bit of like me time, relax, go ground. Um, it'll recenter you as well. Uh, divine nudges can also be powerful music, powerful lyrics. Um, I tend to think that spirit uses music as a medium to connect with emotions maybe that are hidden, put below the surface. So that's the Divine Nudges card. One more time. You have a lot of wings so far, so someone's taking flight today. Uh, there will be a video too coming up next. It'll be about love um, and it'll be for all Libras. So stay tuned. I will see you then.